for Facebook, and that's true for Skype, and that's true for a lot of other things. So at the same time, there's a gigantic shift of marketing money towards user experience, uh, but we don't care about more brands. Uh, I think there's an interesting paradox between openness and privacy. So we speak more and more about privacy, we're more and more worried about Google, maybe, and others knowing more about us and how this is going to be used. We want to control that data. But on the same, at the same time, we're on Facebook and we're on other things displaying much more about ourselves than we've ever done before. I don't know if anybody saw the interview with, with Dave Holtzman in, in the newspaper, where he said that being on Facebook is like tattooing something really, really ugly when you're 16 and drunk. Uh, because this is going to be there forever, the data is going to be there forever. He's, he's uh, very into privacy, so when somebody asked him at the New York restaurant, um, what's your name, sir? He says, that's none of your business. So, uh, so we're going towards a very open, but also a very uh, uh, closed way of looking at privacy. Some people advocate that we will have different personas. So for instance, I would be uh, Mr. O, that's my work persona. So if you go Google Mr. O, you'll see everything pertaining to what I do in work. And then I could be Mr. s &M when I do other stuff. And then I could be something else when, I, when I'm into sports. And then we would manage these personas in a central fashion, but only if maybe your, your really close friends would know all your personas. I don't know if I believe in that, but something needs to be done. Because if you party on Ibiza, you'll never get a good job at Goldman Sachs because they will Google you. Um, if you want to have a job at Goldman Sachs. What do we do uh, with, all these, uh, with all these paradoxes and with all these things happening? Just heard about a, a flash mob strike that they did in Holland yesterday. So kids got together on MSM, high school students, and MSM, but they would strike after lunch and just go out of the streets and scream and throw eggs at things. And everybody did. And this is something that was just arranged over MSM. Well, conclusions, I think one of them is don't get stuck in the middle. Don't be a little bit honest, and don't be, have a little bit of quality, or a little bit open. I think that's where many companies get stuck. They start out with something, they hear about bloggers and think, well, it's good to be kind of open to what people think, but not really care about it. Th those strategies are doomed to fail. So I think a lot of this stuff are doomed, being done half past, and I think that's a losing strategy. Um, so don't get stuck in the middle, that's one thing. Another thing is that, I'm sure we're going to see more of everything. The doomsday, or either black or white uh, way of looking at things, uh, has historically never been, been true, or very seldom. So when cinema uh, uh, is exposed to uh, video, people go to cinemas as much as they did before, but now there's another format as well. So I think there will be more different formats, and there's still four billion guys out there that have not been invited to the party, and when they come to the party, uh, there will also be a demand for much more things. When I asked Mahesh where he would like, like to travel, and when his, his fellow countrymen, where would you want to travel? He said, well, we want to go to Paris, we want to go to New York, we want to go to Rome. Just like everyone here wanted when they were this age. Well, what if one billion more people can start traveling the next 10, 15 years? And it's very difficult to get a taxi in Paris as it is. So th there's going to be uh, uh, much more of everything. Uh, some other mega trends that I believe in that it, we're moving from technology to design. So what first is a functionality and a technology, and you can do this very rapidly, become something that you really like to show your friends and that you're happy when you bought, and that's part of you uh, in, 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 a, in an interesting sense. So if you're entrepreneurs, try to look at the, what is the design extension of what I'm doing right now. Forget about the functionality for a second and just try to find what is the design extension of that. Um, so Apple has been fantastic in, 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 in taking that forward. So going from technology to design, that's one thing. Design is something we're prepared to pay for. I don't know if anyone heard uh, Alex de Jong on CMO. He said that we're becoming part cyborgs because our mobile phones and our other machines are becoming an extension of ourselves. Uh, which is quite interesting. I'd like to have a poll with you. So, what would you rather do? Lose your pinky? It would be completely painless and it would just be gone. Or never speak on a mobile phone again. So, if you would rather keep